Hello, I'm Oliver Hudel, and I'm introducing you to designing cooperative systems. We will do this part of the course as flipped classroom. What does that mean? That means you save hours of watching lectures and prepare the content by yourself, self-contained at home. This means you have one week of reading material, watching videos, prepare, learn whenever you want. You can do it all at once, you can do it in parts and whenever you want and how fast you want. I've prepared a couple of book chapters so you don't have to read the full books but I have prepared selected chapters. Of course I highly encourage you to read the whole books maybe later but for the course and for the next two weeks the particular chapters are fine, but please read them. We will learn about some tools like design cards or even why Lego plays or Lego can play a role uh, in design. And important is that you consume, that you learn this material on your own within one week. During this learning process, and that's the second step, the second important part, make notes. You can either use a diary or a piece of paper. Um, anything goes as long as you can make notes while you read the chapters, while you watch the provided videos. Make notes, make questions, make comments. Write in your diary or on your sheet of paper for instance, the book chapter you're currently reading, the page, and then whether you like this part or you dislike this part or what is unclear in this particular part or where you have questions uh, that goes beyond this probably. So every, anything goes. Uh, in fact, important is that you make this note and you to take your notes to the course, which brings me to the third part, which is the reflection and discussion in class. So although you do the preparing on your own, self-contained over a course of a week, we will meet in class at the end of the week, which will be two times on Friday, which are the next two Fridays, where we take a bit of time to reflect and discuss together what you've learned. So that's why important that you learn that at home. We will not repeat anything during the lecture. So you have to come prepared to the lecture, which is rather a discussion or reflection session than a lecture. We'll also have time there to maybe try out some exercise, some demos. Uh, we will have demos during the lecture uh, and all that happens in class live. Preceding of this live class, you will have a short test in the morning uh, where you can, it's just a short multiple choice test, a couple of questions uh, asking you about the things you've learned over the course of a week. So according to the time schedule again, I highly encourage you use the whole week wisely to prepare yourself. Do not wait until Thursday evening to read the books or watch the videos do it earlier or split it up over a couple of days during the week. But you're free to do it in the morning, all at once, or in the evenings, bitwise, whatever fits you, whatever suits you, do it. In the morning on Friday, there will be a short online test in Moodle, just a couple of questions to repeat what you've learned. And later um, in the morning, Actually, uh, at noon, at 11.30, we will meet in lecture hall in the Hauptgebäude of University of Vienna in Hörsaal 50, uh, which is a large, a large lecture hall where we can meet uh, and take approximately an hour, maybe an hour and a half, uh, but not that longer, to reflect on all the things you've learned at home. So, um, Please take the home learning serious. 
take part into the small test and then come to the lecture where we have space, and room and time to discuss and reflect all the things you've learned over the course of the week. All organizational parts according to the course, if you have questions here, please use the Moodle forum to ask and we uh, will answer the organizational things in there. But all the content related questions and comments are reflected in the live sessions. So from now on actually the course runs more or less automatically. Well, you are free when you learn, at least in the class on Friday, you have to come, that's mandatory. That's where we all get together uh, at the same time, same place and reflect on what you learned self-contained at home. I'm sure this will be interesting, fun, and we will have lots of new insights from various perspectives concerning, concerning the design of cooperative systems.